Hey, it's Bridget. Okay, so this is a video of a grid that I set up for healing for someone who just got out of surgery. And so this is the sacred geometry shape of the flower of life. And this is found in nature. You can look it up. Just Google it. You'll see. Um, I started actually with the, the core components here of uh, this is bloodstone. To me, this energy represents like a grounded vibration of the heart space. It's For me, it's really good for healing. It's very good for sensitive people or empaths. Like my Mickey Mouse socks. Ooh, 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 sidetrack. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, ADHD, right? Um, the hyper part comes later, okay? Um, so I put those here in the grid, and I got five of them, the center, and then each of the four directions. And for me, it's like five core elements, Five directions, north, south, east, west, and center core, earth, air, fire, water, light. Light is the center. And then I chose the sacred geometry shapes here. Um, this is fire, or this is actually the water element. Or, I'm sorry, I can't even speak. This is not fire or water. This is air. This is the air element. I put it down here because of the location on the body of the person's surgery to help clear the pain using the air element so breath every time this person breathes then they can release the energy of the pain and allow for healing to occur because after there's been pain in the body for so long the body can be just really tense and I think it just needs to soften 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 and let things kind of get back to normal but it takes time because then there's you know inflammation and things after a surgery and stuff so it just takes time so air to keep things moving 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 this one is the dodecahedron, which is the sacred geometry energy for me of the universe is what this means. It could represent light, but for me, it's universe. It's how it feels to me. This is what I literally will use um, with kids for clearing, like jump right inside there and just wrap it around your body. Sacred soccer ball kind of vibe. So I put this up here because it feels like if you're looking at chakras, it feels higher up in the body like... Um, just feels like a good kind of balanced overall bigger picture perspective of the fact that the healing is in progress and it's going to take a little time but it's in progress okay we're in the greenhouse that's what you see by the way you guys concrete floors and then the peat rock for um for the um irrigation all right so anyway so and then I chose this this was the last thing actually I chose let's do I did this, the grounding stone of wellness, and this is a red jasper, which is root chakra. Wellness, because that's a goal, we're gonna root that into the earth. And then this was like a spontaneous last addition. Look at that, it's like a Merkaba, right? Like Metatron's cube, a Merkaba, Merkaba, Merkaba. But it's um, clear quartz, clear quartz crystal. This the energy for the healing, advanced healing technologies of the galactic or the cosmic energies, the cosmos and the universe really suits this particular person very well. Beautiful, gentle, high vibrational energy frequencies for healing, allowing it right into the body, into the pranic tube of the spine. That's what this represents to me always when I'm doing this, like the center column, the pillar of light energy. So there you go. There's just an example of, I did a healing session um, a remote healing session and recorded it on audio. And then now I'm doing this as a kind of a follow up to support post um, surgery. So yeah, so this is Bridget. This is just an example of some of the work that I do that I don't always talk about. So there you go.